Hey guys, this is Liz from Elite Performance Gym and welcome to the Elite Show. Today we're going to talk about the four steps on how to lose fat. We want to make this video because we get this question asked all the time, so we wanted to break it down as simple as possible, okay? You guys ready? Step number one, guys, is nutrition. So, when they say we are what we eat, it is 100% true. So guys, if you want to lose fat, you, we have to see how many calories we're currently consuming. Because you can work out every single day, but if we're not, if we're overeating, we're just not gonna lose weight. So the first step on this is to track your calories or your macros. Track your calories and macros and see how much food you're consuming. Track your food for about a week. If you, and, and if you see throughout that week, if you're losing weight, that means you're in a caloric deficit, meaning you do wanna maintain those calories. If you're not gaining or losing weight with those calories, that means we need to lower it just a little bit. So it is gonna take a couple of trial and error to figure out what is your caloric maintenance and caloric deficit. Caloric maintenance means the calories that you need to consume to maintain your weight. Caloric deficit means the calories you need to lose to lose weight. So we first need to figure that out. No app, no person can look at somebody and be like, okay, you need to consume 1500 calories to lose weight. Nobody can do that. It's more of a trial and error, okay? So number one is try for calories. With the macros, um, what you really want to find out is your protein intake. So guys, question, why is protein important? Well, muscle is built off of protein. So if you don't get enough protein in, no, you can be hitting the weights hard, but you're not gonna build muscle if you don't have that much protein. So how much protein you should be consuming is 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per body weight. So body weight is um, it's kind of like a rough number. So if, um, if you weigh like 100 pounds, you want to have around 80 to 100 gram, 120 grams of protein per day. The most accurate way to really figure out how much protein you're consuming is how much lean muscle mass you have. Um, some people don't know their lean muscle mass, so that's how we, we always default to body weight. Um, if you want to know your lean muscle mass, you can always get an in-body scan to figure out how much muscle mass you have it. For, fortunately, here at Lee Performance Gym, we actually offer free in-body scans to all of our members. So if you want to try it out, let us know. We can give you a body scan if you're a member. So that is protein. So hopefully that makes sense. Number one is nutrition. Number two is weightlifting, guys. So, I don't know about you guys, but when I first started my fitness journey, I didn't want to lift weights. I My main goal was to lose weight, and I just did cardio. And guess what? I did lose some weight, but the moment I stopped doing cardio, I gained all the weight back. But with weightlifting, the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolic rate is. So let's say me and Kevin weigh the same. But Kevin has more muscle than me. Kevin can eat more than me and still lose weight. And that's true. Kevin eats more than me and he's still able to maintain his weight. If I ate what he ate, I'll gain weight. So the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism is. Uh, and ladies, don't be afraid. We're not, us women, we can't get bulky or big like men just because we don't have enough testosterone as them. So don't worry. You're not going to gain, gain bulk. You're just going to get that lean physique. So weightlifting. Question is, how much weightlifting should you do? What I personally recommend and what everyone like Kevin and the whole team recommends here at Leap Performance Gym is to do, if you're a beginner, like never weightlifted, never worked out, start off with three times a week for beginners. Start off with that. Because you don't, and then if you're more intermediate to advanced, you can do four to six times a week for intermediate to advanced. Okay, so it's important to do weightlifting. Um, adding on to the weightlifting, you want to make sure you're progressively overloading. So what that means is you don't want to be doing the same weight, same reps for months and months and months. You want to progressively get stronger with either the weight or the reps or the set. So make sure you're tracking your weight to make sure you're making progress, okay? Third one is, can you guess this one? Recovery. Yes, I said it, rest. Uh, people don't really know this, but when you perform weightlifting, you're actually tearing up 
those muscle fibers. So legit, when you're weightlifting, you're tearing up those muscle fibers. When muscle grows is when you rest and the new muscle fibers get grown. So that's why it's important to rest because when you rest, that's when the magic happens. That's when the muscle grows. So always remember to rest, okay? So I would say if you're doing weightlifting, let's say four to six times a week, perhaps take one or two days of rest. If you're doing three times a week, then you can alternate, okay? The last one, and it might be surprising to you guys, the fourth step is cardio. I don't know how many of you guys may think, oh, I wanna lose weight, cardio. I'm gonna see how many calories I'm burning all of a sudden. You know, like it's good to walk. Cardio stands for cardiovascular, meaning heart. It's gonna have good heart health, um, get that heart rate up. However, if you start off your fitness journey with lots of cardio, yes, you're gonna lose weight, but that's it. You just burn X amount of calories. The moment you stop doing cardio, you're gonna gain the weight all back. And that's what happened to me. Um, when I first started personally, just for my personal um, journey, that's what happened. So if you want to lose the weight and maintain it, you want to make sure you're doing weightlifting. Obviously, nutrition is number one and only supplement it with cardio as needed. So these are the four steps, guys. Out of all these four steps, the main thing is mindset. If your mind's not in the right place, you're just not gonna get there. You have to trust the process, believe the process. If you have any doubt that this is not gonna work, guess what, it's not gonna work because you're not gonna give it 100%. So always believe that it's gonna happen, trust the process. Um, if you have questions about this, I would recommend getting a personal trainer or a fitness professional to help you guide you through this um, because that's really the best way to get from point A through point B. Any other questions, please comment below on the comment box and we're here to help out. So catch you later at The Elite Show.